This is Miss V coming to you once again with a great interview. I have four great guys that I just can't wait to interview. I hope we find out some good things about them. I've seen them individually, and trust me, they've got what it takes on the field. So now we're going to see how they interview just as well. So in just a moment, I'm going to have them introduce themselves and one by one so that we can each learn something new about these guys that I'm sure you've seen all over Facebook, all over Twitter, on Instagram, all over the web, uh, just seeing what they can do on the field. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and bring those guys on so we can all meet them. All right, let's start with Mr. Paris. Tell us about yourself, Paris. Hey, my name is Paris Ferguson. I go to Sparnberg High School and I play outside linebacker. Awesome, awesome. All right, Mr. Chase. Uh, my name is Chase Simmons. Uh, I go to North Myrtle Beach High School and I play defensive end and tight end. Awesome. And let's get to Mr. Ethan. Uh, my name is Ethan Reynolds. I go to Ball Springs School, South Carolina. I play defensive line. Okay. And last but definitely not least, Mr. Marcus. Uh, my name is Marcus Wayne. I go to South Carolina High School. And I'm a wide receiver. Okay. So you see, we've kind of got our bases covered here. We got uh, guys from the uh, east side of the ball coming in. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just ask them about what have you been doing to either stay in shape, stay focused, and get ready for this final season, your final uh, senior year where you are the big guy on campus. You are the, the leaders on the field. Let's start with Marcus, then we uh, end it with you last. Um, I've been kind of uh, working out with my trainer, just staying in shape. Right. Staying ready for like when the time comes because we haven't been doing it right now, so we'll just work on our own. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, Ethan. Uh, really, I just been working on my trainer and then getting some teammates going to the field. And you know, we started practice, so you know, keep going. And uh, with this COVID stuff. You know, really, without somebody telling you what to do, you really got to go out on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so true, so true. All right, Chase, what have you been doing? Uh, so my stepdad is a professional powerlifter, so I have the opportunity to train with him at our home gym. So uh, just putting on the weight, eating as much calories, calories as I can, and uh, doing the lifting as well. So uh, the workout part of things has been great. Good, 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 good. Cause you had a little advantage there. That's cool. And Mr. Ferguson. Uh, I've been just working out with my football coach, my new football coach, actually. We've been working on plays, learning new plays, and we have started practice. So we've been doing that every day. And now it's changed to afternoon practice. So now mm -hmm. in the morning, I do stuff on my own and grind early. Okay. Now you just said uh, new coach. What's going on at Sumter? Oh, I play at Spartanburg High School. Spartanburg, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's Marcus at the bottom down there. All right, so what's going on at Spartanburg? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we got a, almost a whole new coaching staff. Uh, coach B.J. Little, he's a great outside linebacker coach. And he mm -hmm. been helping me, he help me train well for the season. Awesome. Okay. All right, well, it's going to be interesting to see how all of that comes together and and see what you Spartanburg Vikings is going to look like this year. So I'm excited to see what's happening there. Awesome. Now, um, there's been a lot of things going on right here lately. Uh, obviously, all the official offers are, are starting to roll out. You know, we had the one big day, and then now we're seeing a rollout even more. Uh, so tell me, uh, each one of you, tell me about uh, the offers that you have, uh, some of the interests that you have, um, especially right here uh, lately, but what kind of offers do you have on the on the table right now? Let's start with Mr. Ethan. Uh, right now, uh, I have Gardner Webb, Campbell, Lenore Ryan, VMI, Charleston Southern, uh, FIU. Okay, that sounds that sounds pretty interesting. It's kind of like you got your your bases covered there too. 
kind of spread out there. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Paris, what does your um, offers look like? Um, I, have, I have VMI offer. Mm -hmm. I got Tuscum offer, North Greenville offer, and I have interest from Campbell, um, um, Akron, Walford, and what else? Uh, and Coastal Carolina right now. Okay, cool. Cool. Those are sounds good as, as well. How about you, Marcus? What do your offers look like? Well, who, who's who's showing some interest in you? Um, I have like a, a lot of different offers and um interest. Go to Southern lately and uh, Walker, Campbell, uh, this and Holy Cross. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now your um your volume keeps going in and out, so you may want to like shift a little bit or um do a um another room, um but it keeps going in and out. All right, Mr. Chase, tell us about it. What's so going my, on? My biggest thing was trying to get the opportunity to get my uh my size out there because I played football at two hundred pounds, two hundred five at defensive end, so. Uh, that was a big issue last year, so I put in the work, gained about 65 pounds since wrestling season. Uh -huh. I wrestled 182 uh -huh. and put on 65 pounds, so I'm weighing in the morning about 245. So my biggest thing with the pandemic was trying to get my body out there, like my size and, and uh, get uh -huh. eyes on me and uh, my speed uh, that came with the size as I was training. Uh, I just got my first D1 offer from Georgia State three days awesome. ago. Awesome. And, and I got uh, – uh, athletic scholarship from Georgia State and Coastal today. So awesome! Well, that's awesome. So I guess your 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 strategy is working out. Yes, ma'am. They're, they're, they're seeing you now, and, and now the right. offers are starting to come in. Right, right. I'm in touch yeah. with a good bit of coaches. It's just uh, a time thing. I'm trying not to stress. Uh, you know, give it to the Lord, and that's my biggest thing about that. Awesome. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. So that sounds great. It sounds like everybody is um, getting some love getting some offers out there and that's that's what you want to do um you got this last year here and um, i'm pretty sure that there's a lot more offers to come and i just can't wait to see what you guys end up doing um right here at the uh at the end of your high school years now i know when i was um looking at you guys and kind of uh pulling things together I was looking at Ethan. I said, um, this is a high school student. And I said, <laughs> with as much love as I can muster, Ethan, I promise you. I said, now this boy, he look like he's somebody daddy. I said, he's looked like he's been a daddy for some time now too. But you know, it's cause I don't know. I don't remember players looking like you guys look when I was in high school. I really don't. And then Chase, you said you put on about 65 pounds. I believe it because I looked at your pictures from like last year to this year. And it's like I had to do a double take to make sure it was the same, same guy. And so I see the work that you, you put in. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Now, Ethan, have you always been this size or did you work like, Chase did the off on the off season to try to get as big as you are. Uh, in tenth grade, I weighed in at uh two forty five, two fifty, and I was like, I was like five eleven, I was like five eleven, six foot. Mm -hmm. and you, know, and you know, with the position I play, which is uh inside, uh, it's very, it's very, uh, it's a very rare case that you're inside defensive lineman is like 5'11", like 245, 250. Yeah. So uh, I say I say about the end of my 10th grade year, uh, just going throughout, I hit about, I hit like six two and a half, and And uh, I weighed in at like, uh, I weighed in like 295, 300. Wow. Now you're in Boiling Springs, right? Yes, ma'am. So what kind of food they feed you guys in the cafeteria? Uh, really, uh, really with that, you know, just, you know, going, you know, trying to put on that weight, especially when you get 
really high, you know, in the big weight, you know, you got to make sure you can still move. Right. While you, still move while you're in the big weight and uh, work on your speed, but mostly uh, work on your quickness. Cause yeah. In the uh, interior, you know, it's more about how quick you are off the line than it is speed. Yeah, 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 so, and, and that's true. That is so true. Yeah. But you, so, um, you obviously work that together because you're definitely both. You're you're big, you're fast, and you're quick. Um, so it has definitely shown the hard work that you put into mastering the size and the movement of the size of your body. So uh, kudos to you um, for that. Now, our, our two uh, smaller men, well, I guess it works out for you guys, right? Because I, I don't know if I know any 200, 300-pound wide receivers. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know any myself, not in high school. I don't know any 300-pound receivers in high school. Um, what about you, Marcus? I can't hear you. You can hear me now? I got you, yep. Okay, for me, it's kind of like balance and weight. Like, I I guess my coaches want me to – I they hint into, like, me putting on weight because they, like, four meals a day. And they, like, texting my mom, making sure it's four meals a day on time, stuff like that. They trying to, like – I guess they said fit for the season, but they want me to put on weight. So, yeah, that's what we – you know, because I weigh you gotta in. get that that lean protein in there. Yes, ma'am. That's what they do too. They give it to me too. Yeah. Now you live in Sumter, so I know they can feed you in Sumter. Definitely. You live in the country. They can feed you in the in the country. I know it. <laughs> I have some friends that live in in Sumter, so yes, um, I know there's some good eating down there. And it I know is. your mom probably can cook too. So let's, yes, let's work on it. Let's work on it. Because one thing you don't want is you to be a really great player, and but they look and say, oh, but he's not big enough. Especially if you go work out, um, if you're looking to go to the SEC. You know, they like you to be fast. They like you to be slim, but not to the point where you can't take a, a, a lick and keep on kicking, you know, because they'll, they'll hit you hard in the SEC. Yes, can y'all can y'all tell I'm an SEC fan? Can you tell that? Probably yeah, so. <laughs> Now, if you're going to go to the ACC, okay, you, you might be just fine with your lean, you know, fast. you you probably be just fine. But at some point, you're going to have to come up against a, a chase or an Ethan. So, um, you know, you want to be, be careful about that. Yes, ma'am. I, I know they're going to feed you. I know you're going to eat. All right, Paris, what's, what you been doing? I know your mama can cook, too. Yeah, I've been eating good. I'm trying to get the 230. By the end of the year, right now I'm 215, so I've been mm -hmm. because most of the coaches they said I was kind of a little too small, but I'm real long and fast, so they recruit me at safety. But some recruit me at outside linebacker because of how long I mm -hmm. am. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to fight between the middle so I can play both in the next level. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, because what I think, how tall are you? Six three. Six three. Because what I think about when you say you know, that they let you play at safety that because you're long and everything. The first person that comes to my mind, and again, SEC, first person that comes to my mind is uh, is Gilmore. You know, because he's not the tallest thing, you know, and he's not the biggest, bulkiest guy either, but he plays real long, and he's, I mean, he's one of the top, you know, corners out there, and but that's who I think about when you talk about being – you know, being long and um, putting on some weight. So um, if you can get anywhere close to uh, a Gilmore, then you're going to be all right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You're going to be all right. All right. So with uh, all of that being said, I know you guys get these interviews all the time. And as the season goes on, you guys will be getting even more interviews. I know um, Southern Sports uh, will uh, talk radio will probably be getting you guys to come on as well. Um, so what I want to do is just kind of kind of veer away from football a little bit and ask you guys a couple of uh, questions that has nothing to do with football. And the first one I want to ask is, and you can jump in whenever you want to, whoever wants to go first. 
um, is besides sports, do you have any other talent? Or is there something that you do well that nobody would guess? Well, who said that? Me, Ethan. What'd you say to Ethan? I can juggle. You can juggle. How many balls you can juggle at one time? Three. About Three. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know I don't have to see that. I don't have to see that. So while I go to the next person, I want you to find three balls. And I want to see you juggle. See? You don't put it out there now. You don't put it out there. Uh-huh. Now you got to make a believe out of it. Who else got a hidden talent? Oh, uh, well, I can spiritual dance. Okay, okay. So the praise dancing? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, let's see. Do I want to see him praise dance? I don't know if I got time to see you praise dance. I but can uh, see, I can send you some video. You do that. I'm serious, too. I want to okay. see that. All right, all right, cool. Marcus, what can you do? I see you thinking. I don't really, I'm thinking about it. I don't really. I don't really, I'm just a regular guy. I don't be, I don't even dance. Like You don't have to dance. You don't have to juggle. But I know there's something that you can do that people would be surprised of. Or if you can't think, if you don't, if you can't think of anything, how about something that you wish you could do? Like you've always wanted to do, but you know you can't. <laughs> I wish I could sing. I was about to say that. How, yeah. how did I know that was going to come? I can <laughs> sing good in the shower, but that's it. Oh no! Now, Chase, we can We don't count shower singing. We all can sing in that's, the shower. That's singing now. No, we can all sing in the shower, Chase. So we can't count that. We mean like real singing where you know people don't run out the room; they run into the room. <laughs> so, but is that your thing, really? Can you sing? Through me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your talent then? I mean, I I can sing. I I was in the uh, all county in chorus in middle school, but I didn't do anything in chorus in high school. So, okay, that so that means you can carry a tune, right? So that means you can yes, you can do a little background harmonizing. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so all right, y'all need to get together and let me listen to your harmonize together like a little doo band or something. <laughs> all right. <laughs> No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that because Marcus don't look like he can sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so say it again. I can't. I wish I could, though. <laughs> I know it. I know it. All right, so when you guys do go off to college um, to whatever lucky school gets to claim you as their student athlete, what area or do you already know what you want to major in or at least do upon graduation? I'm going to major in psychology. Who's psychology? Yes, ma'am. And so is there a particular uh, interest or area in psychology that interests you? Uh, like... Uh, like, like talking to, uh, like talking about people's like mental state, uh, learning about the human mind, uh, how people think, uh, what, uh, what people think, what people are thinking when they do a certain thing in a certain situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, so would you like to do it from mind. like a, would you like to do it from, let's say a family psychology area uh child psychology criminal psychology uh, or really you know. um really uh when i uh get there and i start uh getting really into it when you know i get to college uh i was thinking more of like uh family family or criminal you know psychology like mm -hmm. like criminal psychology like you know, learn like what they were thinking when you know when they did this. You know, where yeah. was they at the time? You know, see if I could talk like talk them out of you know doing it again at their time to get yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound you sound like my daughter. My daughter, um, she's going on. This is this will be her junior year in college, and she she started out um, broadly in psychology, 
And so then at the end of her sophomore year, she figured out what she wanted to do. So she started out just like you. And so she's, she's um, figured out that her, her interest is in the children. Uh, with the, uh, more on the child development side and why some kids develop slowly or faster and, you know, those sorts of things. So, yeah, you're right. As you get into the different classes, um, you'll find out um, just what you want to do or where you want to head in that psychology. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, th- I, mean, I thought about uh, child psychology because, you know, because, you, know, uh, you know, nowadays, you know, with everything going on, no, uh, so uh, so really, it's really a tough world out there for real for the kids. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and then there's a, also something you might want to think about, or may not even thought about, is sports psychology. Yeah, you know, to think about those guys that get hurt, and they, that's a mental toll that they take on their careers, um, not just on their bodies, but on their minds, and and some of them go into depression or you know different things like that. A lot of different things happen to to uh, the guys in sports when, um, when they're going through all kinds of things. So yeah, that's it. You know, I, get, I think that's probably more of a newer area of psychology, but it's definitely one that I think that's going to continue to grow. Yeah, because, you, know, uh, you know, when I was uh, when I was younger, I've always wondered, like, I've, I've always wondered, like, what, like, what was that person thinking, you know, when he did that? Or mm-hmm. what was that thinking when he did this to go to jail? Or what was this kid thinking before he yeah. Drugs, you know, like, yeah. like, like, where, where was his mindset at, you know, to do that? And, you know, really, really, I've always just wanted to know, like, where people's mindsets be. You know? Yeah. So I That's to good. Do yeah, I can see that. I can see that in you. I mean, you're a serious kind of dude. So, and I, I, I see that. I can see that. How about you, Paris? What do you want to um, study? Um, mechanical engineering. Okay. Okay. Why chemical engineering? I said medical. Medical engineering. Medical engineering. Okay. And um, from what angle or what perspective? Like, I I really, I'm really good at math and stuff. So my teacher always felt the engineer would be good fit. So I like doing a lot of math stuff. My highest grade is always in math. I'm in the high math class. I just love just doing engineering. So now next year I'm gonna be doing engineering classes to get ready for college. Get how I fit. So how does the medical part fit in there? I just fit medical. I I ain't had no. I really ain't like wanted it. I just medical. I thought it'd be easy chemical because I really don't like science. Mm-hmm. I just said let's try. To well, um, I think that's a good one um, because you can almost put medical with anything now, especially with everything being electronic now, um, even with, um, um, you know, now we're having our office visits virtually and that sort of thing. So everything that's happening on the platforms that uh, in the medical field, which I'm in, um, there is somebody that's got to know math to, com- you know, configure these things, you know, to make everything work. So uh, we definitely, it, there definitely is a, a area that's continued to grow on the medical side for the need of people that are, are more tech savvy. Um, so that, that's going to be uh, a good one. And, it, and I believe it'll pay real good, too. Because you want to make something that's going to get you some money, you know. Ask your mama. She'll tell you. <laughs> All right. How about you, Marcus? What do you want to do? Uh, I was talking to my uh, coaches at school. I studied the major and athletic training. I can't hear you. I kind of wanted to do athletic as a major. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good. Now, broken bones that are sticking outside the skin and all those kind of things, that doesn't mess with your head, does it? No, ma'am. I feel... Not afraid blood. of blood and all that kind of thing. No, ma'am. I okay, feel good. I had a bone sticking out. I mean, it was... Well, good. Well, it sounds like you're going... Because I would hate for you to be afraid of blood and, you know, and screenish with those kind of things. Um, so that's a good thing. So maybe yes. you're going in the right. Maybe you're going in the right track. So good. 
That's yeah. good. That's good. All right, you. How about you, Chase? Uh, I've always been in like real estate business type stuff. So, you know, living at, at North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach area, there's always like big real estate businesses going on. So I've always, mm -hmm. I've always like watched uh, home shows, like uh, people that oh, are trying to find their houses and stuff. That's my and favorite always, thing to watch. Yeah, me too. So I've always had interest in that. So that's that's one thing I'll probably major in is business and going into real estate. That's cool. That's that's a, that's a good one, especially you know um, in the areas that you're talking about. Cause um, I used to go to North Myrtle Beach all the time. We didn't go as a kid. We we went to Myrtle Beach, you know, when they had the the old um, amusement park, not the new stuff now, but the old stuff. Um, but a lot of times when it was just family time, we went to North Myrtle Beach because it was quieter, right. you know, um, just cook out and all those sorts of things. So. Um, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good one. And people are always looking for homes. Right, you know, they're that's... always going to be building buildings. So anything like that, you're going to be good in, whether it's medical, uh, people are always going to have emotional problems, you know, um, there's always going to be sports. So it sounds like you guys are gearing towards things that are definitely going to, first of all, things that you're interested in. That's the first thing. I and mean, second of all, that you're going to get paid in. So um, those are really good aspirations. So I am proud of you guys for that. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to move back to sports just a little bit um, right before we wrap up. Um, and I always like to ask this question um, because it's very interesting to hear. Um, first of all, have you guys met up with each other in competition? Uh, no. No? No, no. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, had had that one yet. All right. So now in thinking about competition, um, if no matter like depending on what side of the ball you're, you know, you're on the offense or defense, just think about the anybody that is you haven't played um, another school that you haven't played. Um, think about the the position and the person at that position that you have never or always kind of worry about going up against. So if you, you know, so what for, say, well, you wide receiver, you know, what um, what corner uh, do you dread seeing coming your way? Or, you know, what defensive player you dread coming your way or offensive player coming your way from, you know, from another school? So uh, you guys, if anybody already knows it and don't need to think about it, Go ahead, but you might need a second to think about it. I mean, really, I mean, you know, I mean, I feel like I feel like that question right there just depends on how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, uh, every you know, me and Paris, you know, we play each other uh, almost you know every year. You know, okay, and luckily, you know, with the schedule for it. Luckily for our last year, we get to play against each other. You know, we get that honor to play against each other before we go out and play for the next year. You know, those games were always good. You know, two rival teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of more like um, you know the opposite person, the person opposite you that know it's going to bring out the beast in you. You know what I mean? It's going to bring out the best in you that you like. Oh yeah. You know, we about to bring it. You know, I'm about to get him before he gets me, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I got you know, it. You know, me and Pierce, we play the, uh, we play the same side, same side of the ball. So more like, more like a defensive player looking on the offensive player. Like, yo, I want to hit him. For me, for me, I'm playing defense. Also, um, you know, not obviously. You know, we step on the field. You know, different. You know, field. You know. It's probably the same for him, but, you know, I want to outshine him just like he was. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You echo that? And, you know, me and uh, at the count, you know, me and Chase was talking about, you know, this is, you know, it's how you carry yourself. You know, I'm not going to step on the field, you know. I go, I when I line up in front of somebody, you know, I ain't going to worry about nobody. Right. I'm gonna do my job, do what I gotta do, get what I gotta get done. There's no mercy during the battle. I hear that. I hear that. I know if I was either one or two of you guys, I wouldn't be worried about anybody either. 
so you know, so you know, really, really, just depends how you carry yourself because yeah. because you know it don't matter if you're at linebacker, receiver, defensive line, if that guard, corner, or running back lines up in front of you, if you go up there scared, you don't get beat. It's yeah. that mindset. It's that mindset of things. Yeah, yeah. But so you, can't, you can't you can't let your mind play tricks on you for Paris. Line a running back may line up against him. You know what I'm saying? He got to have that mentality like, yo, this dude not he's not, you know, he not gonna do me. You know, with yeah. um, Marcus corner corner can't guard me. Chase tackle can't block me. Me a guard can't block me. It's just that yeah. mentality. It's just that mentality you gotta have. We step on the field. I'm the best. There's nobody better. Preach, Ethan. Preach. Uh-huh. Preach, amen. That's hey, you should have seen this at the camp. Me and Ethan, we was, we was oh, hot. I saw that the day. videos. I saw the videos. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I saw the videos. Yeah, those are, uh, uh huh. And I, I heard that trash talking you doing too. <laughs> yeah, I heard that trash talking. I said, look at him. Because he put on some weight. He can talk now. <laughs> oh. Marcus, who brings out that? Uh, we won't say, who brings out that beast mode in you? You like, okay, I'm about to blow past this boy, and you know, ain't gonna be no stopping it. You know, is there is there a corner that has talked junk to you while on the line, and you like, no, nah, you know, he can talk all he wants to. I'm about to blow past him, about to break his ankles. No, really. <laughs> I don't really get a lot of trash talk because half of the time we just like we up so nobody really Oh, excuse me. Man. <laughs> but, uh, like guys who I like see me play bring the best out of me probably, uh, like at our 7 on 7 turn I like uh, JJ Jones he really kind of inspired me to play. You know? Yeah, yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Like I just like I see people make plays he he feel like nobody can stop him. I'm gonna play this. Hey. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. How about you, Paris? What you got to say about it? It's mostly just rival games. Like keep mm-hmm. that to a You gotta come out hard so you can talk junk outside. You talk junk during the game, but after the game is all love. Like yeah, mm-hmm. like we play on the same side of the ball, so I really don't go against them. Like, but I. But mostly Bowling Springs, Dorman, Gaffney. Brian got my hardest, so I can go out. Go out. Cool. That's all right. That's all right. So in in that same token, um, you know, you talked about your robbery games and that sort of thing, and how that brings you know just a, a new kind of intensity to the game. So what about a team or school that you don't play? Think about a school that you don't play that's not ever, you know, in your lineup or on your schedule that you would love to play against. Oh. What was that, Ethan? I want to play Huff. Huff? Huff High School. Where's Huff High School? I don't know about Huff High School. North Carolina. North Carolina? Yes, yes okay. ma'am. Okay, okay. All right. Are they, so they are, are they the, the stuff in North Carolina? Yes, ma'am. And if I had a two <laughs> foot North Carolina, you know, for my for my past two years, uh, you know, we played uh Doug Fort, but honestly, you know, uh, honestly, I I would want to I would love to play in the game. Okay. So you know, Dutch Fort, I got you. Dutch Fort, Dutch Fort, Dutch Fort, I mean, you know, you know, to, just that. to be that team to knock them off the top, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you on that one. What you saying, Marcus? I'm gonna echo that, Ethan. Too. I want to play too. Uh, we're supposed to. Uh, yeah, you got you guys got rained out at a January, right? A thunderstorm yes. or something? Yes. Bad storm came through. We got rained. Yeah. yeah, everybody was waiting on that one, but yeah. Okay. All right. How about you, Paris? Uh, I, I really don't have a clue. I just like playing teams in Georgia. Just because most of them be known. And, like, when I do good, most of the coaches are going to be there. There's big teams in Georgia. Like, Archer played last year. I had a big game in Archer. I got for looks. 
Mostly mm -hmm. just, just be a team in general. Okay. Okay. How about you, Chase? Uh, I don't really have anybody I'm, like, crazy to play. I mean, we strapped helmets on and uh, put the pads on, so we're ready to go against anybody out there. But uh, we got something from Myrtle Beach, so, you know, it was a close game. <laughs> you know, I'm a coach from North Myrtle Beach, so I got to protect yes. my boys. But, but we're excited to compete against Myrtle Beach again because it's always a, it's always a heartfelt game, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a big deal around here. So, uh, I'm excited to – uh, take the team that we have as a senior because we got some leaders. Last year we didn't have as many leaders as we do this year, so okay. I think I think uh, we're gonna shock the uh, shock the state this year. All right, I hear you. You said you know with that new sixty five pounds you got over the summer, you you ready to show them some things, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I appreciate all of you guys um, just taking out the time to sit and talk with me. I know most of you probably have practice to get to um, and get ready for that. So I just want to thank you for um, just spending this time with me answering these questions. It has been an, an honor getting to know you guys and I'm looking forward to this great season that you have going on and I'll be looking to see what other offers you come and you know got coming in and you know if you if you need me just holler um, and either I or one of the guys from High School Blitz you know we're always here um, we're always willing and ready to help you out. So um, in the last couple of minutes, I'm just going to go around and let you guys, if you have any final words or any shout outs you want to do, um, you can do that before we uh, we end this interview. Shout out to my boy Chase to get his two weeks of offers, man. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah. Ethan, you took the words out of my mouth. I was just about to <laughs> shout out to Chase for giving me some hope. I yeah. appreciate <laughs> y'all. Awesome. Paris? Man, shout out to all these boys in this on Zoom meeting. Call them, all them dogs, man. All them dogs. Yeah. Okay. They're going to bring the best out of you. Yeah. Yeah. And Chase, you get the final final word. Hey, y'all, y'all coming to North Beach. We're going to win state. <laughs> Chase, do <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but uh, much love to these boys. Eh? I'm, I wish the best for y'all. And y'all got something big coming. Just uh, have faith, you know, give give glory That's to right. God. That's uh, right. You know, he gives you the opportunities, you know. He'll open doors for you. You just got to wait for it. So, right. you know, everything you do, just give him the glory and he'll shine back in. Amen. Amen. Preach. We got two preachers on here. Amen. Preach it. <laughs> Preach it. Let the church say amen. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Y'all have a great afternoon. Work hard. Um, and Marcus, put some protein on there, man. Get you some, get you some lean protein. Let's eat. Paris, let's eat. Ethan, I'm, Chase. I'm about to go eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good afternoon. Okay. All right. See you.